In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix packet loss inside of CS2. Now, back in the day, you would have been able to use like special software and apps, that kind of thing, to go ahead and fix packet loss. And you would have been able to fix it, but there would have been a few um, issues on your end. So things like input delay, that kind of thing. But now CS2 has implemented their own inbuilt system that can fix packet loss. So this is a insane change they've made. I'm going to show you how it works and how to use it. Okay, so what we want to do is load up CS2, make sure in the game, um, you should be on like the home screen that looks like this. We want to go to the top and go to where it says settings. And then from here, we want to go on to make sure it's on game. And then we can scroll down and it says this one here, it says buffering to smooth over packet loss. Now you've got the settings, none, one packet or two packets. It basically says buffer snapshots from the server and commands from the client. This decreases the amount of stuttering caused by packet loss, but increases your effective ping time. So it essentially means that packet loss is going to be not an issue or not as much of an issue. You can select how many packets you do, but in exchange for that, you're basically going to have higher ping. Uh, ping is basically sort of your, I guess, latency to their servers. So from when you click the button to shoot, how long it takes for the, bu the bullet to actually come out the gun, um, that's basically going to increase a little bit. But it will mean that it's going to be a lot smoother gameplay overall. But honestly, this is a really, really good feature. Um, it, it helps so much, and I'd recommend changing this setting here. Try, try one to start off with. If that's not good enough, try two. Uh, see how you do. See how it affects sort of the ping and also the packet loss, that kind of thing. That's basically how you go about fixing it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if it helped and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about any games or anything gaming related. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.